Switch it on. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Speaker. First of all, let me take this opportunity to congratulate you, having been elected the Deputy Speaker of this House. I also want to take this opportunity to thank the people of Langata for giving me the chance to represent them in this august house. I want to thank our team, Team Jalas, that put up a very big battle, and the battle for Langata was not an easy one. I want to take this opportunity also to thank my party, ODM, and my party leader, Raila Molodinga, who supported me all the way to the end. I want to thank the team from Mugumoini Ward, High Rise Ward, South Sea, Nairobi West, and Karin, who most members here are my constituents. Thank you for your support. I want to Again, take this opportunity to thank my family that also was with me in the battle. When we go now to the president's speech, there's one thing I picked that is very key for my constituency, that is the affordable housing. And uh, I'm happy the president himself is coming to Langata this week for the launch of 4,000 500 houses, and that is in Zone B of Nyayo High Rise. I want to take this opportunity to tell the people of Langata to be ready that this, this project that has taken long will finally come to, to, to books. The second thing that I want to talk about is actually the Hustlers Fund. I would want the Hustlers Fund to be given to the members of this house to take care of it, to be in charge of the Hustlers Fund. We campaigned with the Hustlers. We know them better than anyone else. We were, we were with them. I want also to talk about uh, saving that the President talked about. He talked about saving, which really, if the Hustler Fund is coming, let the savings we also be directed to the hustlers themselves. They will save themselves and save the money by their own. Let it not be given to anybody again. For Langata again, I want to talk about the projects that have stalled. We have a case in South Sea Market that the land has already been allocated. They're just waiting for a few confirmations and a few approvals from the county. I want to request the county government so that this can be expedited so that the work in that market can begin in earnest. I also want to thank the team that has been pushing for Mugumoini market to start uh, operating. Chairman Alois, I know you're watching this moment and you said and asked me so that we can push for the market of Mugumoini and the lawyers who are here to help us also push so that the small battles that we're having in court can also come to an end so that it can be uh, it can be done and over with i also want to take this opportunity to tell langata people that the issue of water and anytime you mention the word langata everybody talks about water the northern corridor grid is already being worked on and we hope that during this and during my regime as a member of parliament of langata the water issue will finally come to an end when the northern corridor uh, infrastructure is finished with and we are greeted into it finally madam speaker i want to take this opportunity also to ask the speaker in his wisdom wherever he is that later when he comes here he makes the best ruling that as a meal is the majority in this house. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker. Asante.